Hey guys, my name is Anna Racha, and earlier today there was this hack news story about GitHub's new text editor left on Twitter. A couple hours later, they officially launched the project at Atom.io. So this is pretty exciting. A new text editor made with web native technologies and Node.js integration. The only problem right now is that you need to request a bad invite to start using it. Once you get this invitation, you can go again to atom.io, sign in, and two different stuff will appear to you. The first thing is the download button, and the other thing is how many invites you got left. Well, for now, this editor is only available for Mac, and I already downloaded it, so let's check it out. Okay, this is the welcome screen. It's just a markdown file and with some instructions that you can get going. Now let's explore this thing. In the preferences menu, you can find all your settings, your key bindings, the packages you have installed, and the themes you have installed. And also one of the cool things about Atom is that everything is a module. The archive view is a module. The autocomplete function is a module. Even the go to function is a module. And each one of these modules are hosted on GitHub. You can go to the source of this module, make a pull request, change it, open issues. So this is pretty cool. Everything is pretty open. Now let's open a real project here. So most of the developers are pretty used to go to the terminal, work on their stuff, and then fire up the terminals right from the command line, right? So Atom comes with two command line tools that really help you. The first one is the Atom. So here I am in the random project and I can just type Atom dot. It will open all the files from this folder right in the editor. The other command line tool that they have is the APM. It stands for Atom Package Manager. And there's a lot of commands that you can run it. And one for example is the, the view to check the status of a package and I just launched this one and okay I can check the status of my package I can create new packages I can publish new packages using this APM command line tool as I said before everything in Atom is made with HTML and to prove that you can go to the style guide package here you can find how every single piece of this editor is made like the color buttons, or let's say the list group. You can check the HTML of every single part. This is pretty interesting. But if you still don't believe in me, you can go to the Atom option, open your style sheet, and find this last file where you can make changes in your editor, like changing the background from your tree field to white, or to red, or to pink. Or you can just leave the default value because you're a bad designer. More than that, you can go to the developer options and toggle the developer tools and inspect each one of the diffs of this thing here. Let's check some other features. You can open files using the Fuzzy Finder by typing command P and then filter for the file you want. Let me open the readme file. Other important feature is the command palette. You can find this up by typing command shift p. And this is pretty similar to the Sublime Text command palette. But there are some nice features like the markdown preview, where you can see it just like you would see in GitHub. And of course, there are some pretty common features that we always need like go to a certain line of code you can type ctrl g and go to the line number 100 you can make some finds and replaces in your code by typing command f or command shift f to replace in a certain folder you can also use the multiple cursors feature which is for me the, the best thing about sublime text you can select a block of code you type command D and you can make those multiple editings 
using multiple cursors. This is pretty cool. And also do some code folding. The tree view is a very handy module because you can interact with your keyboard easily. So by typing Ctrl zero, you can change the focus of your interaction. Now that I'm in the tree view, I can just use my arrows to navigate for the files or for the folders. I can also create new files or new folders by typing A and let's say bar.json or if I want to create a new folder I can type a mm, new and put a slash in the end and that's it this is a new folder I can also rename this folder by typing M the thing that excites me the most about this new editor it's all the integration possibilities that GitHub can provide. And they are already working on some stuff. If I made a change in this file, the feedback that this file has been modified will be shown to me. Or if I create a new file, a different visual feedback will be shown to me. And they really thought about everything. Things like trailing spaces, which are really annoying when you are trying to set diffs. If you have some trailing spaces here and you save your file, you hit command S, it will remove the trailing spaces for you. So these are the small things that really made some changes in your workflow. Yeah, that's it. There are plenty more features to explore and I'm pretty sure they're going to continue working on this and landing new stuff. So let's Keep an eye on this project and thanks for watching. See ya.